It's kind of soothing just kind of listening to this heartbeat that's softly beating and kind of reflecting on where we've been for the last few weeks, months, really, that we've spent together playing To the Moon. And we've had a lot of fun times together. And I feel like it's coming to a close soon. And I'm excited and I'm very scared. I don't like it when the games stop. I don't really know what to do with myself then. I don't know where things go when they reach their conclusion. Um, it kind of just becomes uh, empty space that you fill with watching another video or watching a different game altogether, but you can't come back to those places that you once were and relive them the exact same way uh, even though we try to, and that's kind of like what I try to do with my let's play is, uh, is because I don't have a very good memory. And I think I've said this before. I don't know. I don't remember if I've said this in to the moon, but I make let's plays so that I can remember the times that I have played games and, and the times that I've shared fun and stress and happiness and anxiety with other people and I try to create a very genuine experience between the camera, which is all of us watching, me included, uh, and me, the performer, performing this game to the moon. Um, but yeah, I don't know where we really go from here. All I can do is, in this exact moment, try to recreate or, or create some kind of uh, tone or sensibility, or I don't even know what, just some kind of emotion that is genuine to how I'm feeling as we play this game, as we as we dive into this game together. To the Moon has been amazing. It has been amazing. Um, every single like moment of this game is just seething with realness. So we're hitting a huge climax now, where we have changed the main character's life forever. Uh, we don't know what we've done yet, that's why Dr. Watts is asking what did you do to her. Um, but we do know that it's going to affect everyone involved, including Dr. Watts, including the instigators, both doctors, uh, Rosa and Watts, and... It's troubling, it's exciting, it's a lot of emotions. Uh, I feel like we've reached high highs and, and low lows in the last little bit of this game, and I don't know where we're going to go from here, but I'm very happy that you're joining me. I'm extremely happy that we've had this time together and that Patreon has allowed us to play such an awesome game like To The Moon, and let's just enjoy this last episode, maybe two episodes, I don't know. I don't know how much longer is left, so... I'm going to try to savor every moment of it and have as much fun as possible. So let's laugh and let's cry and let's continue playing to the moon and let's finish. We're going to finish strong. We're going to finish strong. What did you do to her? My girl. Relax. She's merely, she's going elsewhere. So maybe they just never dated. Maybe they never, they never hooked up in grade school. Maybe she's going to get with someone who can help her better than uh, than John can. But that would be kind of weird. Because we already know, we've established that they're soulmates. The These two, John and River, are soulmates together. And that their souls have intertwined and have a whole history that we are going to erase. Which is like the scariest fucking thing to me. Because if I were to lose all of this playthrough in some way, if this if YouTube collapsed on itself and I didn't have backup copies of every single video I've ever made, um, it would be, dis it would destroy me. It would just be the most disheartening thing. But in the end, we're also going to create something new out of it. So like, what the fuck? What do we do? Okay. It's one thing to disable my controls and feed me some olives. 
This is establishing just how much Dr. Watts cares for John and River. And River, which he before was very clear saying that it's about the client, not about River. River's not our client. But this is way out of line. I'm sorry, this is just, this just won't go anywhere if you keep on resetting the memory. At this point, this is the only way. I'm asking you to trust me. So please just calm down and wait here. Then just pull the trigger already. Where are you going? <laughs> the big fantasy door. <laughs> One last thing I need to do. And I step into my Doctor Who door. Poser. There's no need to visualize a door. What's with all the melodrama, Neil? Why are you fighting so hard for... This. This. Forget it. There's no time. Everything will be all right, man. Just turn around. Okay, okay. One moment. The one moment that Johnny hesitated. We are going to turn River around, send her down the, har the corridor, and she's going to be gone forever. Like water flowing in the stream. You try to pick it up, and you can't, you can't contain rivers. What? What are you? Shh, 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 shh. Nicholas pushes Johnny into the hall. Johnny turns and there's nobody there. Just the platypus, I think, right? Ooh. Sorry, kid. I knew it. it was exactly what he was gonna say. You only got one shot. Don't miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. Mom's spaghetti. He can already feel it. It's already started. We don't have to confirm. He just knows. Come on, they're gonna hog all the good tables. They're all the same. All Every table's the same. Nah, Joey's right. The ones by the kitchen smell better. Totally. And Olive refills her just a steps away. Ah, Olives. All right, okay, okay. You know, you know freaking what? You know what, that's just fine then. Bye River, we got Joey back. <laughs> Saving him doesn't justify it. I don't know, does it? That's such a like, yeah, that's not like transmutation where it's like one for one here. Huh, <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> Saving him doesn't justify it. He can always find another river, Neil. There's other fish in the sea, but he'll only have one brother. Come on, we're in the way. Let's let life, let's let the program, the programmativity of life continue and flourish and see how the world has changed this one contained world oh don't you're gonna you're gonna wipe you're gonna vanish the river out of every memory come on oh that's that's cruel But this does all happen after we meet River the first time and talk about seeing her once more to in on the moon. That if we don't ever see each other again, we will see each other on the moon. So that part of the timeline's preserved and helps drive John's desire to go to the moon.
So in a really like stupid way, it's a win-win. <laughs> in a really weird, goofy way. And that means that the one thing that we do lose is that Johnny, John does not ever get that closure about that feeling that he had. The feeling that he was, uh, that something was missing from his life, which was River. Which is then, in turn, going to drive him towards going to be an astronaut to go to the moon. gonna keep sending letters to NASA until they let him go to the moon what are those letters for and maybe they're not Joey published the book And there's John in the back, with, <laughs> with some kind of publicist or manager. <laughs> right. Yeah, dog. We got it. We're, we did the thing. We did, we did the thing from the very beginning of the game. <laughs> yeah, wow. I mean, we don't, like, get do-overs in life, and that's kind of one of the mystic beauties of making a Let's Play, is that whenever I, oh, speaking of, whenever I hit a button in a Let's Play, it's kind of permanent, and it becomes part of the, the play itself. That spontaneity, that random, like, the live part of it. I don't get to make a do-over in this game. Uh, and we don't get do-overs in life. And so, To the Moon lets you make a do-over in life. And, and we've been navigating that. And it's been kind of amazing to navigate that. So, we're finally here. We're finally here. There's, there's, there's no other... There's no resets, no rewinds anymore. He made it. He made it to the moon. You sound surprised. Whatever happened to, we always succeed because we're awesome? This doesn't feel like a success. Oh, lighten up, we're in NASA. We don't have much time left. Let's at least check this place out. Ooh, all right. Let's have a, let's hang out a little bit. We get one more time. How's it going, dog? How goes being a real life NASA? Looking good. <laughs> National Association of Space Aeronautics, good, good to see y'all. Please wait here, someone will come around and show you, show you around shortly. Still reading that Anamorph. To the moon. The story about a lame duck's attempt to become an astronaut. A novel by Joey Wiles! <laughs> We're the lame duck! I can't believe this crap actually sold. This isn't the real world, Neil. We kind of made it. We might have kind of, you know, nudged it a wee bit. <laughs> How pathetic. All this trouble just for some girl. That's what I thought you'd say, Neil. How pathetic. All this trouble just for some girl. There you go. Good to have you back. Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> don't have time to just stare at him. But can we? We can just, we can hang out. Just us here together, right? What else is around? I'm not, I'm not sensing anything else around here that I can kind of interact with. 
That's okay. I just like this this big scene. So are these like Oh, they're pillars in the middle of the room. Oh. I thought they were like TV banks or something. Or weird platforms. Well, let's keep walking in. I Oh, oh, we're we're doing we're doing a memory thing. Okay. I did not realize that we were doing the memory thing one more time. Um is it me or is this elevator smaller on the inside? Going up. Oh, so there's gonna be like four floors worth of things to investigate. This is the mission control center. Look at all the people with the computers hitting the buttons. Keep hitting buttons, men. There's not much going on now, but you'll see it live one day. I half expected to see Zordon on that screen. It's not here. Ah, uh, what? Let's just go. What is he looking for? All right. Ladies, gentlemen, get back to work. We've got more NASA to explore. <laughs> and everyone's back in the elevator. So, do you think last century's moon landing was... Neil, not now. Let's not. So, that is so last century. Oh no, oh no, tell me the news. Hey, our records are excellent! Okay, I was really worried that it was just like, we're just not gonna pass inspection. We're not up to snuff. We're... In this dream world that we created, we still can't actually get John to go to the moon. We'll have to monitor your status closely in the coming sessions. Looking good so far, kiddo. How about on the left side? Yeah, throw him in the pod. Get him in the centrifuge. If you're lucky, you'll learn to hate it one day. Ah, yes, the spinny thingy. It's not here either. What are you talking about? Oh, we don't have long left. The big spinny thingy. The crusher of doom. I hope the real NASA has bigger elevators. <laughs> Our fake NASA has, uh, got, has budget cuts also. <laughs> All right, top floor. The shuttle's still under heavy maintenance. We may only view it from here for now. Uh, this isn't good. Perhaps there's somewhere we missed? Uh, you need to work on your communication skills. We only have so much time because, you know, this heartbeat's not lasting much longer. Ooh, there we go. Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> we made a whole, we made a whole dang rocket ship in the video game. You know what the best part of it is? What? The very top and bottom of the shuttle. I'd have to agree. <laughs> oh, how I pity anyone who can't see those particular parts! <laughs> Indeed, the nose at the top especially is beautiful. When maintenance finishes, it probably won't look the same. Yeah, now is the only time. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me see, how's that? Ah, oh, I can't, I can't see the very tippy top. Or the littlest bottom. Ah. Oh, how cruel. Those were the, those were the best parts. I guess we're going back down. Yeah, now we got all four bars of memory. 